Morgantown, West Virginia, home to the Mountaineers in a fan base that has been, shall we say, preparing since early in the morning for the battle we have in store. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see, the Iowa State Cyclones taking on the West Virginia Mountaineers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So West Virginia's offense will have the first possession of the game. And as we look out on the field, here comes the man, the man who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he brings to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. They're expecting a big day from this young fellow. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Keep it on the ground. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile he was on radar lock he found the football and flew down with some bad intentions didn't take long to need a clutch play on the opening drive it's third and seven wants to throw it's green the sweet feet by a little time at the 35 he's loose and he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit Nice job, nice way to end that play from the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The Mountaineers come to the line in the hurry up. The give out of the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. The inside handoff. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Wants to go up top. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. A really good job by the defense. Understanding third down, the situation of the game. I play a little bit deeper, take away the sticks, react to shorter. I got to go get him on the ground now. Nice job making the tackle, but playing the down and distance first and now forcing a fourth down. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. So Iowa State's offense will get the ball for the first time. When you have a weapon like this on the outside and a guy in the secondary whose job is to take everything away, it's going to be a great matchup, guys. And it's so fun to see how you attack great safeties in the middle of the field. Are you willing to do that, or are you going to try to live on the perimeter? This offensive matchup will be great. Yeah, normally you'd say receiver versus safety, the receiver's going to win. This safety, though, has got the speed to run with this guy, and he's going to make it interesting back there. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. They'll try the counter. He stopped after getting a yard out to the 30. Ball sitting right at the 30, it'll be third and short. 
to the ground to try to move the chains. And the Cyclones get the first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. The Cyclones have it with a first and ten. Going to the running game. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Now he's looking to throw it quickly to the tight end. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You've got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit. And let's keep going. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Looking for a man. It's back. Fires to the middle. He makes the catch. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing it out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Gets it to the back. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. Great job by the defense winning those early downs. Now you get him in a predictable situation. Third and long, you bring in more DBs, more speed, more fun blitz packages. You get to have a little fun, go get the quarterback. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He lets it fly. Oh, he can't hang on to the football. A big play sitting right there for the taking, and they can't get it done early in this one. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage, so everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And he'd hope to pin him deep. Instead, it will be a touchback. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a win. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Lining up from the 34 on first down. They're going to ride this running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You see all this movement in football now. All the stem in the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. And that's why as a defense you want to set up third and long situations. You just want to be able to keep the football in front of you. It's okay for that quarterback to hit the running back on that pass. Now you have all those bodies flying to the football and they're able to make a tackle. 
And the Mountaineers will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. He'll start this drive firing. Quickly complete. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. Early in the game, I love getting my quarterback in a real easy pitch and catch. You've thrown him 4,000 times. Not big shots, but just put you in nice positions on the next downs coming up. The completion short of the sticks. It's second down. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. Tackled, but he has a first down. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. Just nosing into enemy territory at the 49. It's first and 10. Looking downfield, it's Beck. A little screen to the running back. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Yeah, and you're going to see this offense find different ways to get this running back involved. It's not just going to be on handoffs. And they're certainly going to line him up in different places and even throw him the football. But the screen game's a big part of it, too. We'll try to get him going there. Looking to throw on second down. Unloads to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. When we were throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. Knocked down after a gain of one to the 27. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. And he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to the big tight end. It's complete. He gets it in. Touchdown, Cyclone. How about the renaissance of the tight ends? In line, flexed out, split out. They can do a little bit of everything. They really can, and they're asked to block a lot of the times, too. But I tell you what, all the wide receivers out wide, the fancy toys, the fancy spread, don't forget about that tight end. He does a little bit of everything, and then you reward the big fella, throw him the ball, and he catches. So he really can do a little bit of everything in an offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards, and they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Leaves it with the back. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Fires it incomplete. I love the quick decision that QB made there on that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward. 
They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. Looking for a man. It's Green. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. These guys aren't human either. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. That's the end of the period, and Iowa State has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. The Mountaineers come to the line with a new set of downs. Here's the handoff. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. over the middle. It's Gallagher. Stopped at the 47 after a 10-yard gain. Well, the offense just taking what the defense gives them there. There's a lot of cushion out in coverage, so that was just too easy for the quarterback. Spits it out, and they pick up the first. And the Mountaineers look to keep this drive humming. Quick pass on the jet motion. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It can happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Looking to throw, it's Green. He's got his man. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. You can work your way down the field with these wide receiver screens, but also look for the opportunity to turn them into chunk plays later. No doubt, you throw it quickly. You get it to him now. DB comes up, has to make a tackle. Now you fake it maybe a little bit later on. So these plays, they're not huge plays all the time, but they can set up big plays down the road for your offense. Catch in the middle, it's Taylor. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Robinson. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Nice job by the quarterback, pre-snap and post-snap. He knew the defense was going to be playing zone coverage, and there was no doubt in his mind where he was going with that football. And an empty backfield here on second and short. They keep attacking through the air. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Love the competitive nature by the defender on that play. That's just a 50-50 ball, and that defender swatted it away. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. Looking to throw for it. Firing to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, West Virginia. One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. We're taking shots. We need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. Ready to try the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. They marched 79 yards on the drive. 
and they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. He's got the tight end. As a tight end, if you're going to be good in the passing game, you've got to be able to feel the windows when defenses play zone coverage. And he did a really good job of that right there. He didn't rush. He didn't hurry. He took his time, found the soft spot, gave his quarterback an easy place to throw the football. That last completion sets him up on second down. Give to the back. Makes his man miss. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Back to throw, it's Beck. Fires one high and deep. Fires into traffic and intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. As a quarterback, you've got to give your receiver an opportunity to make the play. You've got to put the ball on his body. And that throw gets away a little bit from the QB, and that leads to the tip and the interception. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. Dialing up a second down pass play. With the catch, it's Robinson. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle. And as a result, new set of downs. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. From the gun, running back gets the give. Makes the stop at the 35-yard line. They rip off 15 yards on that one, and they are rolling. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just choose up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Oh, he had it right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they missed an opportunity for a nice play on first down. And now on second down for this offense. Off the play fake. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Davis. Stop just inside the 25, will mark it at the 24. Pick up of 10 and a first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding it's blitz. And not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end. And he add the answer to the test right there. Going up top on first down. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch. And he just got too excited. Well, the tight end's a guy that's going to have to be able to make plays for this offense in the passing game. That time, QB looking for the big fella. He ran a good route, just couldn't reel it in. Second and ten after the previous play. Back to throw. It's green. Buys a little extra time. He'll pull it down and run. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. No one for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. 
The Mountaineers have moved it inside the 20. On third and short, the power run here. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And the Mountaineers will snap it on first and ten. He wants to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Fox. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. Wants to fire on second down. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism, he's got length, he's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that sack. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Looking to throw, it's green. Moves around to clear up the vision. The last thing you need is this guy getting knocked around. Wisely avoids the hit with the slide. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yardage. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. It is true as he puts three on the board. And with that, they've taken the lead. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Iowa State sending the offense back out. Coming out on first down with the play fake. The throw to the outside is complete. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Open the drive with a chunk play out past the 40, and they are in business on first down. They'll run it from the gun. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't overlay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You gotta go set that in. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You gotta do a better job on the perimeter. It's not gonna be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You gotta go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked and they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn and they continue to run the football even with little success so this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football you can tell back to pass it's back he finds his man couldn't ask for much more there a first down and they're down to the 42. well we know this guy is special and because of that his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances there on that third down there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Unloads it downfield. He's got it down the right side. Touchdown, Iowa State. Hauled it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. 
Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger, Reese. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out, but we can fix that right now, fellas. And they went out and looked so good on that last drive. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the finisher coming on that 42-yard touchdown toss. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's got it. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. Still on the 35-yard line, they'll try it again on second and 10. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Finds his man, it's White. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And a great job on the QB, finding the running back, get him the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. Looking downfield, it's Green. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. Offense gets set for second down. He'll just keep slinging it. Throws to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Roll, catch, toe drag, everything you want. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Trying to find his man on first down. That's caught. It's Taylor. That's a really good tackle there, giving up some size and still making the play. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big gain. It makes life really easy on me on second down. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. They'll try to get it through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Fox. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. We've got a timeout here late in the first half and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And as we get deep in this first half, a first and goal and a chance to take the lead before the break. Zone. Touchdown, Mountaineers! Man, I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers.
The AT unit on the field. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. Looking to go up top on first down. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Well, on defense, they know that this offense is going to try and take shots. They're going to try and keep their secondary players in a position to make these types of plays. Good job on the back end for synthetic completion. To the air. It's back. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. And the screen seemed like a good idea at the time, but they were fortunate to get back to the line of scrimmage. You know, on defense, I think it just comes down to having really good awareness. You're watching the ball, you're seeing where it's going, you're locating blockers, and then defeating those blocks getting to the football. Man, that's a big missed opportunity for a running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. A strike downfield. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. This is going to be a tough field goal try. 55 yards and from the left hash. Field goal is good. And the field goal draws us even as we get close to halftime. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. He'll bring it back from inside the 15. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21. And we don't expect to see another play here. They'll just take a knee and head to the break all tied up. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, fellas, the end of a very intriguing first two quarters of football in Morgantown. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Mountaineer Field. The Mountaineers will kick it off to start the second half. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Iowa State sending the offense back out. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the third. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. 
Pass on the way, and it's picked off! A return there would have just been icing on the cake. They'll just have to settle for the cake at the 23. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover, but they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. It's a superb effort by that guy. The offense set for a first down play. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Dropping back, it's green. Unloads to the wide out. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Slams ahead. Touchdown, Mountaineers! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. They'll go to the ground, able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Now they'll run the draw. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Just a great job by the quarterback, the running back, the offensive line. Sneaky little devils. What do they do? Make it look like pass, sneak in the run, catch you off guard. Great play call by the offense. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the big fella. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. To the air. It's back. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Trying to pick up a first down. Shotgun snap on third down. Quickly out to the tight end. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. 
Catch in the middle, it's Higgins. Man, that quarterback knew that was a tiny window to throw into, and he just showed off his cannon of an arm. Trying to convert this second and short. Give to the running back. They make the stop right at the 30-yard line, but it's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. And the Cyclones will line it up on first and 10. He's going to pass. Unloads it left. It's caught downfield. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. And listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. They'll give it to the back. Pushing ahead, a tough run. Picks up four, it's down at the 15. Solid pick up of four on first down, it's second and six. He'll try it again. They get him on the ground. He picked up about four yards, and the ball spotted at the 10. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down, and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fit. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that thing. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. He got it. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Movement here from the tight end. Out of the gun, the inside give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about that defense in the backfield? Nowhere to go right away. You could tell they were playing the run game all the way, and they got in the backfield and got the tackle for a loss. And the running game has been disastrous on the last couple of plays. They'll try to salvage the drive on third down. Feeling some heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Well, they've still got the lead, but they are losing the momentum. And the defense is starting to make plays after getting that last sack. They can feel it right now. You can see them playing with a whole lot of more energy. There's a lot of pressure on this offense now to respond.
And the Mountaineers will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Dropping back. It's Beck. Trying to get to it. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. In these situations, third and eternity, I know exactly what to do. I'm putting more DBs on the field. I know it's a pass. My best pass defenses, and then I turn my pass rushers loose. Go get that QB. The Cyclones will punt this one away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Fair catch called for and made. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. They opened up this drive, getting all the way out to the 35, and now it's first down again. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. And the laundry drops as the pass falls incomplete. Let's see who the penalty's on. <laughs> the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Quarterback adapting. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. Nice sack by the defense. Great job getting to him, getting him on the ground. That's the fourth sack of the day. This defense have had some bright moments, but they've also given up some big plays. Keep rushing the quarterback, but keep that coverage intact in the back end. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. The give to the back. Nifty little dance step. And he's knocked down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. Looking to pass. It's green. He's right on target. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. To the air on first down. Quick strike complete. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. 
Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense did a really good job stringing that one out. You got to see the counter when you start to pull guys understanding. I'm going to spill that ball, make sure it bounces outside, out wide, doesn't come downhill. Great job by the defense understanding that and pursuing to the football. His drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. And the quarterback runs out of time and down he goes at the 38. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Runs through a tackle. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. This is why third down is so difficult for quarterbacks because the defense substitutes, they put faster guys on the field, and they've got all their different exotic looks they've been game planning all week for, some things you haven't seen on film yet, and it confuses your offensive line, it confuses you, and you're out here just trying to make plays, trying to do something right to get a first down. Wasn't able to gain a lot there. And this one splits the uprights. Well, that's a huge kick right there because now the opponent has to score a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. That put so much pressure on the opponent. Nice job by the special teams going out and executing in the big one. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. To the air, it's Beck. They're bringing heat. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. The incompletion leads to second and ten. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's brought down at the 29 after a 10-yard gain. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come up. Comes out throwing on first down. It's complete. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. The defense needs to have a plan for this guy. They weren't ready for that one. Drag route running all the way across the field. The DB just can't stay with them because of his speed. And as a result, they give up a big one. Most important part of a clutch drive. Piece together some first downs. Get in position. And here they are on first and ten. Hard running there. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. And the Cyclones will snap it on first and ten. To the ground. He's got it again. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. 
coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. From the gun, the ground game. They make the stop right at the 30-yard line, but it's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. They'll snap it from the 30 on first down. Running back searching for a hole. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. They're in the red zone, first and 10 from the 20. The give to the back. Not a lot there. Picks up one inside the 20 to the 19. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The play action fake. And the quick shuffle pass. They'll go with the quick touch pass. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. They line up and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Reads it, fires complete. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Man, and that's just making it way too easy on the defense. They're laughing at that shoulder. They're like, really? Okay, we'll just make an easy tackle and jog our punt return team out on the field. We're going to make it that easy for us. Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. They'll try it on the ground. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Probably the only people upset about going for it on fourth down, the punters, who don't seem to see the field as much as they used to. Now when you've got a running back like that, he just has like a sixth sense. He always seems like he can just find the crease, especially in these short yardage situations. He comes up with a huge play there on fourth down. Turning to the running game on first and goal. They get him on the ground at the three yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. And he got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Pushes for the goal line. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a run. If they can get it in here, we could have a thrilling end to this game. It is third and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Cyclones! It gets closer and closer to the end zone right here. You know what's coming as a defense. The offense has to be physical, and they were. And the back knew exactly what he had to get to to get six. Lining up to add another. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. 
From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. A quick pass to the left. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. I don't know if that's the coverage you want to be throwing wide receiver screens against. Oftentimes, you want the receivers to have some access. You want the DBs to be off a couple yards so you can help set up the blocks and give the receivers somewhere to go with it. It's hard to run that against press coverage, and they only picked up a few yards there. They'll try the right side. At the 35, he's open. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Well, the defense team coming into this one, Reese, that this team was going to try to use their speed and take advantage of it, and they did right there. Nice gain on the run play to the right. Found plenty of running room in that defense. They've got to find a way to get there, make the tackle in the open field. Yeah, and they got to do a good job with their eyes, finding the football, and they've got to get a lot of bodies to this guy because he is fast. Snagged in the middle, it's Taylor. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. The run from the shotgun. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Now improvising. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want to they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. Second down coming up. Power football with the run. The Mountaineers get enough for the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Nice move to stay on his feet. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And that would be the definition of first down success, putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. And on second down for this offense. From the gun, the running back looking for Rome. Tackled after picking up the first down. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. And the Mountaineers will have it first and ten. Off the RPO complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking for a gap. It's White. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You want to bring in your tight ends? You want to bring in more beef for that offensive line? I'm going to bring in more beef. Nice job by the defense understanding the situation. Red zone, field shrinks. I need more bigger personnel on the field, some big guys that can stop the run. Played the run well. Great job by the defense understanding the situation. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. 
Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. And it's right down the boulevard. And now they've taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Well, the offense and special teams did their job right here late in the fourth quarter. They put themselves now in position to win this game. It all comes down to the defense. Can they deliver? They get the stop. They win this game. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. Fielded in the end zone, it's Hanson. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Iowa State sending the offense back out. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Complete to the left. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. That's something as a defense you got to be prepared for. In a two-minute situation like this, you know they're going to try to throw the football to the sidelines and get guys out of bounds. So you've got to have outside leverage, or you need zone defense to help out and try to bracket guys on these outbreaking routes. And here's the third interception of the night. He was looking for that big return to go with the pick, but he'll set him up in business at the 36. That might be the nail in the coffin, fellas. This offense, they're trying to get back in the game. They're having to be aggressive. You're now going to have to start taking chances. An errant throw ends up in the hands of the defense, and I think that's all she wrote. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. And they come out with a field goal lead. Defense just got to stop now to capitalize, David. Yeah, keep the momentum going, right? Defense did a great job. They held serve, got you the football back, Jesse. Let's go get some points. And I'm curious to see how they're going to do this. Are they going to be aggressive after the defense got the stop and take a shot? Or are they going to try to be more conservative here and bleed the clock? They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. I just love the effort by the defense on this play. We're late in the game. It's in the fourth quarter. Guys are tired, and they're not able to get to the QB right away, but they continue pursuing him, and they're able to get to him outside of the pocket. Nice job. The Mountaineers will call on their punt team. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. And they spike it and get the clock stopped. He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. Back to pass. It's Beck. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. This would be a really long field goal try. Need some yards as they hustle to the line. Double time, hustling to the line. They spike it to stop the clock. All 
Ball wide out, no bats. Looking to pass on second down. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Man, this late in the game, it's go time. I gotta have a score. I'm not worried about downs. I'm going through my two-minute script. We know what's coming. We practiced this all week. It's second down, incomplete pass. Go to third down. We need to go for it on fourth down. This offense just has to keep that high energy up and try to run these plays fast. They're trying to get to it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. 